Uh-oh. Somebody got in trouble. I must not have been doing good enough this week. He's been doing pretty good. I see you still got the red and the black box, so. We do. That's probably why you're running the truck today. I'm hoping to get rid of that black one. Because I told him, I said, as cheap as the box is, we could bundle it like we do our carts. Yep. And, I mean, you can get all of that for, well, in my, our area, for us, for $35 a week. So. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> cheap enough. Yep. Yeah, guys, so that's that's the secret. We know if Michael's not working, she's got him at home doing hard physical labor. Because <laughs> he didn't sell enough on the truck this week. If you want to call it physical labor, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but no, seriously though, you can get that box. It's, I'm going to walk backwards. But um, this, which is our new one, it's uh -huh. the 2225. But um, the lights, the pry bars, the new kit that we've got, and this ratchet. So everything on top. For $35. For $35 a that. week. So, so you get the aluminum work light. Yep. Which is a pretty decent deal, especially for like a, you know, somebody that just wants a different set of tools and a new box. They can get a pair of socks. Yeah. Well, those are free. The socks and hat are free. If you buy all that, I'll give you that for free. <laughs> <laughs> and the air hammer kit. Yep. Yeah, we've sold quite a few of those air hammer sets, so. Well, that's cool. Yep. 35 bucks. Can't beat that. Well, I'm just saying, if a, if you're starting out, I mean, it's not bad to do that. Well, if a guy wanted to swap and get the, the impact. We could work a deal. Work a deal. That's what I'm talking about. Y'all hear that, <laughs> boys? <laughs> If but, your Mac dealer is not willing, or Matco dealer is not willing to do that, y'all better find you a different Matco dealer. Well, it'll be all right. I'm sure all dealers do that. <laughs> but um, Michael just got these in. I was trying to figure out whether well, I opened them already because I didn't want to, you know, not know how to use them. They're little magnetic bits. Right. So, like, you take this, for example, and it's not magnetized. Mm -hmm. Put it on and magnetize it. Like magic. Like all the way, which you wouldn't be putting them like that. But anyway, and if you want to demagnetize it, because you see it's still right. magnetized, you just rub it on the edge. Well, how about that? And it's not magnetized no more. So it's pretty neat. They're not that much, you know, something to have in the top of your toolbox mm -hmm. that'll probably get lost. But <laughs> they stick they'll to probably, the side. That's what I was going to say. They'll probably stick to the... Stick, stick to the side of your toolbox, Jordan. You ain't gonna worry about it. Yep. Well, that's pretty cool. They kind of stand out on yours though, since it's white. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I mean, other than that, I don't know if he showed y'all these or not. They're the new hammer sets that we got. That's what I was taking a picture of when you walked up. But I'll let you get the stuff. Okay. <laughs> Five-piece hammer set. Yep. And. I mean, they're pretty nice. They got the new grips on them. Yeah, those are I mean, nice. Y'all do more with them than what I would, so. Those are nice. But I mean, I've done got such a sucker for those ball pain hammers. Well, they come in handy, especially the, um, these little. Well, like the dead blow ones. Like yeah. I had y'all order that big forty ounce green one. Yeah. Man, I love that thing. <laughs> but. That's a nice set. Yeah. And they can also be bought individual. So let's say you've already have one that's what an eight ounce, like a little tiny one, and right. you know, you just go ahead and use it and buy it. But anyways, well, that's pretty cool. I told Michael I wouldn't say it, but I'm only here because of my mother-in-law. She loves your videos, <laughs> and that's her Saturday morning routine. Well, so. we're trying a new lens today, and yeah. uh, it's kind of cool because. We can go even zoom in today. <laughs> well, let's zoom out. We, don't. <laughs> we done done it, man. It's too late. So, <laughs> but anyway. So, is it just the black box that you're doing the special no, on? Or you I do it on the, the red one. Any box, these two on here, is the ones I can do it for today. But I think Michael said that our wait time on these are about eight weeks and kind of more sometimes. But 
yeah, if you want the red one instead of the black one, I can do that. And then we've had some distributors actually switching drawers, like doing putting a swap. The, yeah, putting the black and drawers in the red box. It looks stuff. nice. But I kind of want to switch the white and black one, so when we get a white box to, yeah. you know, switch there it around. Because I think that would look really nice. That's cool. I would ask what were your favorite, but I think it's sitting in there. <laughs> yeah, so. it is. If I was going to pick one of these two, though, I think I would, I think I'd go with the red. Yep. It stands out for sure. That's why we put it up front because I thought, I you know, like it'd it. catch your eye better. I sure do. So what's the deal? Y'all got colored lug nut sockets now? No, those are the carbon fiber ones that, um, they're made so they don't scratch. They're supposed to be thin wall. Yeah. And there's a set of three. But I'm gonna tell you this. Which <laughs> it probably won't offend you or Michael because y'all are normal people, yeah. not arrogant like some dealers are. Well, you know. But when I seen that, I thought, man, why'd somebody trade in a Harbor Freight socket? Because you know Harbor Freight's got those colored lug yep, nut sockets like that. I was like, why would somebody trade in a Harbor Freight socket? Hey, we've got people that claim our boxes look like theirs. I'm like, look, I can honestly tell you that I've never been into Harbor Freight to look for a toolbox. I've never been on that side. I don't even know if they sell toolboxes in store, do they? Yeah. Like in store? Yeah. I've only been to the other side, you know, just looking around for our little boy some toys. But I couldn't tell you. You know you're from the country when you go to Harbor Freight to buy your son. <laughs> some toys. Tools for toys. That's what I'm talking about. I do. About. You know how they have that little rack of them and they're like 97 cents. You know, yeah. just the little wrenches and stuff like that. It's mm. cheaper doing that than going to the other store. Especially him getting on here. Yeah, yeah. that's true. We don't need him on here playing with stuff. That little fella's going to be a tool guy when he grows up, honey. Yeah, he. we bought him a... I think it's a weed eater, maybe? Or something like that. And... He went, we did it around the truck. Like, he did the whole wow. perimeter of it. And I told Michael, I said, tell me he ain't watching you. Because that's what Michael <laughs> just did. Yeah. And same way with the tools, Michael was helping me. I changed my oil in my Tahoe for the first time ever. Like, I've watched him do it, but I've never just physically done it myself. And I did it Well, Houston actually got underneath the Tahoe with me and laid there and I guess figured out the way I did. <laughs> Y'all have to watch him because y'all go out there one day and crank it up and one had a wall in it. He'll I know. Like, uh oh. <laughs> well, hopefully he can't break the uh, nut loose or the bolt loose yet. So. And little fellas will surprise you now. I'm telling you there. Yeah, he had Michael did warranty the other night and we had a Silver Eagle ratchet. Well, he couldn't get it to turn, so he's holding it and trying to force it to turn. Well, he flipped the switch and got it to turn. Yeah. So, I mean, it wouldn't broke to the extent that it wouldn't turn, but it was the fact that he actually knew that, okay, it ain't going switch. this way, so yep. let me flip this little switch and, you know. I tell you, them little ones is a lot smarter than people give them credit for because oh, yeah. I get amazed a lot. Oh, like, yeah. Well, I thought it was cute whenever, is it Caroline? Uh -huh. it's whenever they come up on the truck during your, you know, get together and Brina, our middle child, pulled out the toolbox thing she said you can't sit on that and I said yeah you can I said that's fine you know and Brenda's like yeah I sit on it all the time so she pulls it out and they both get up there and sit and I'm like all right then I guess she's seen me sit on it enough yeah she's a mess now it's it's something else we had we had a really good time going to that ball game I seen that I bet it she did fun. have a blast it was a lot of fun I'm gonna go back because and she caught a ball too oh well I helped her a whole lot. Did yeah. you get them to sign it? No, no, we just, she was tickled to death. We had a good time, but oh, y'all got to carry your kids up there. Now this is the red birds. So, yeah. Yeah. We thought about it, but it's If just... you'll sit on the third base side, that's where the, the bird Rocky, you know, it's a guy dressed yeah. up in the mascot uniform. He comes down and like, if they'll go out to the aisle, he'll go down there and Aww. socialize with them. That's pretty cool. Well, that's good because most mascots don't do that. They yeah. kind of... Whoever they got doing his yeah. internals mm -hmm. is a really good person. Well, you know he's a real bird. <laughs> that's what my... They're super patient is all I can say. <laughs> that guy has got... Or girl, I don't know what it is, but they are extremely good with kids. So it's a lot of fun. Well, that's good. 
All right, guys, we're going to get in here and put a death pump on. It's going to be a lovely, fun job. But like always, if you want one of these cool bundle deals just like this with everything here in the toolbox, you need to be talking to your Matco dealer and showing this video because right there is everything you get. Right there is everything you can see. Really good setup for 35 bucks a week. All right, guys, y'all have a great one. Like always, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up. It's free. It don't cost you a dime. And click over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here. And if you're not subscribed, take your finger, click that button. You guys have a great week, and we will catch you later. See ya.